Hello gamers, Suro here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to teach you how to get the brand new legendary Phantom Spark bow that was just added in the Sunken Sea. This will be our second legendary weapon added to the game. The first one is the Rune Song and now we have the Phantom Spark, but I'm not going to lie to you. It is not that easy to get unless you are just the luckiest person in the world. So I'm going to try and break this down as simple as I can because it is kind of confusing and there are quite a few components to this. The first thing you want to do is head up here to your second merchant. This is the merchant that spawns after you defeat Gorm the Devourer. So we're going to open up his inventory and you're going to see this empty crystal. You want to buy one of these. It'll cost you 3,000 ancient coins. Now we have it right here. I'm not going to use it just yet. We're going to put it in a chest and come back to it later. But as you see, the materials to craft this is you need one shutdown protocol, one anomaly report, and one overwrite transcript. So first things first, come here, come to this guy, buy the empty crystal, and then you can just sit it in a chest for now. We got to go find those three components. To find those three components, they are scattered throughout the, uh, the new biome, and they are in these ancient cities. Now, there are a lot of like ancient cities. But there's only these specific ones that are going to have this in here. And I'm going to show you what they look like in just a second. If you take a look at my map, I have a three flags here. These three flags are markers that I placed that had the ancient city that had the three parts for me. So as you can see, they could be way over here to the right. They could be up high. They could be over to the left. They could even be here in the middle or at the bottom because everyone's map is going to be different. But there is a tip I can give you that's going to make your life a lot easier. And that is by finding Amaroth, the, the new like, sea titan. If you find his location, that is where the first one is going to be. So this skull right here is his arena for me. So if you have not already found Amaroth's arena, you want to come up here to the holographic NPC. And you want to craft the scanner. It is 10 ancient gemstone, 10 mechanical parts, and 15 seashells. So it's very cheap to make craft that and then you have your first marker now the first like fortress the city you're gonna have to get that first component it is gonna be pretty much on the exact same line as that uh the arena so it could be over here to the far left or to the far right me i started at the arena and then i moved my way over and i found the location right over here so i'm going to teleport down here so you can see what the entrance actually looks like to these ancient cities all right here we are so the entrance you are looking for will be one of these two locations you either have this one which has a sunken ship down here or you're going to have this one on the screen right here that has like the four yoda statues there can be multiple of each of these, so do not worry if you just ran across two of these that have the ship or two of these that have the, like, four Yodas on it. You just need to look for the entrance. Now, another massive tip I can give you when you're looking for these structures, they will always be at the bottom. So the closest to the core right down here, you want to look for one of those structures. If you don't see it... Just keep on moving. Don't even bother going in that city for now if you're on the hunt for these three components. So now that we know one of the components are in here, we need to find the piece. And I will tell you, it is always going to be in the very middle of the city. Now, if you look right here, these cities are so massive. So don't get discouraged if you go in here and you can't find it. I promise you, if it has either the four Yodas there or if it has this ship, it is inside here. So we're going to go ahead and go through here and I'm going to show you um, what you can expect in the city. I'm going to try and run through as fast as I can. That way we don't make this video as long as possible. So we're going to try and zoom on through here. There are lots of mobs. Obviously bring some potions and things like that if you expect coming in here because some of the core sentries are actually pretty dangerous. And you also need bridges to go across these gaps. That's a major one. And make sure you bring enough bridges because you do not want to have to go all the way back home. So let me try and get through here. I don't quite remember the pattern, but I'm going to go up through here. I think it was this way. And we shouldn't have to really fight any mobs because if you wanted to, you can technically just zoom on through there. So we need to go back down this way. up here take a left and then go down and i should be that should be the right spot so once you enter this room go ahead and kill these mobs 
and each of these rooms are going to look relatively the same. Now there's two things to note. You're going to have to locate the chest that's inside here. Mine is right here. You see the sparkles on here. You must open it. It is going to have one of these three pieces, either the fractured limbs, the channeling gemstone, or the energy string. So once again, you have to locate the chest. If you don't see the chest in here, just look again. And if you don't see it again, check the loot on the ground because I actually had one of the mobs break my chest and I had to come back and get it later. So this is the structure you're wanting. This is where you're going to get one of those three components. It will have either the shutdown protocol in there, the anomaly report, or the overwrite transcript. And uh, it'll be just sitting in here like that. So make sure you grab your one of these three and then grab your thing out of the chest and then take head back to your base and then drop it off there and then you're gonna have to go look for another one so now that you have your first piece you have the arena over here for the boss you have your first um location here now you need to find your second and third one so they the other two will always be higher than the arena and your first location and it's about 200 tiles or so so if we look at my flag right here and it's kind of lined up with this it's about this distance right here away from each other. So you're going to have to, again, go up that distance and then just kind of go in a straight line until you find that structure. And then, of course, look at the very like south side of it. And this will be the entrance. It will The entrance to it will never have it over here or over here or at the top. If you don't see that, move on to the next one. After you get your second one, it's the same distance between this one and this one except it'll be higher again. So it's the same distance both ways. So come up here and then once again, just kind of fan out this way and you should come across it. So I'm actually going to teleport up there so I can show you the other one because this one has the four Yoda as the entrance. All right, so this is the other entrance that you're looking for. If you see a structure like this inside there, we'll have another one of those protocol things. And it'll be right here in the middle, almost like the same room. Make sure to grab the chest that has one of those pieces in it. One of these, and then grab the other one. So that is how you find the three pieces of that. I hope it wasn't super confusing. I know it kind of is. And it's going to require a lot of RNG and a lot of looking around your map. Just remember that first one's always going to be on this line. Go up a bit higher, about 200 tiles or so. It'll be right there on that line and then go up again and then it'll be on that line again. So that is how you get those pieces. After you get those pieces, we are going to head back to our base really quick. Now that we have all three of them, we're going to have this empty crystal here in our hot bar and those other pieces sitting here in our inventory. I'm going to right click and then your character is going to do his little channeling thing that he usually does. And then he is going to put those three pieces inside of the diamond. Now we have the admin key. So this is uh, something that you are not going to want to lose. This is your admin key. It took those three pieces. We still have these. You are going to need these to construct the bow and arrow. Now, unfortunately, that is not all you need to do this. You have to find one more structure. And let me tell you, it is not easy to find this thing because there is no like waypoints like we had for this one using the Amaroth's arena to kind of gauge where it's going to be it could be anywhere in here it's not going to be past this one now i will say i believe i don't know this for a fact but i believe it's going to be in this bottom half right here not quite past the Amaroth arena now i found mine over here on the left and it is a very tiny island or it could be attached to a giant island so it's one of those things that it's just rng and you're gonna have to do a lot of discovering if you want to come across this so i'm gonna head down there to that location and show you what the island looks like and here we are now we are coming up on it mine was on a very tiny island but like i said it could be part of a larger island so this is the door you're looking for and over here on the map it's pretty much the same like skull structure that you would find in the azios wilderness area the only problem is, if you see how tiny my dot is, that little tiny island there, that is what you have to find in all of this ocean. Like, so it is not an easy thing to do. And I spent so many hours doing this that it got pretty frustrating. But 
if you're out there to find this, it's probably going to take you a while. But if you just wait and like play the game and enjoy the game as you, you know, you normally would, you'll eventually come across this island and it won't be that much of a problem. But if you're in a rush to get this new, like get your hands on this new bow, then uh, it's probably going to be very frustrating. So now that you have the admin key, you go up to the door and we are going to place it inside there. Boom, the door is going to open. We have a lot of stuff. We got some uh, Yoda statues here. We got some other stuff. But the thing that we really care about is this back here. So we got the glyph parchment. This is what you are going to use to craft your bow. We got some more, just some valuables here and then some other stuff that I don't really care about. But this right here, it's going to take those three parts that you needed. And then 100 octarine bars and 20 ancient gemstones. So let's go ahead and head back to base and we're going to craft this thing and test it out. Same thing as before, we are just going to right click on our mouse with all the uh ingredients here and we're gonna wait for him to do his channeling thing and then we should have our new phantom spark there it is gain new item phantom spark it looks pretty cool uh it's 195 to 237 range damage 1.4 attacks per second plus 12 percent critical hit chance plus 27 percent critical hit damage and then plus 20 percent chance to summon a ghost caveling when killing an enemy so we are going to go test this thing out right now i'm going to try it out over in my mob farm but before we start shooting it if you take a look at this it makes a pretty cool sound effect there we go there's our little ghost like shaman character <laughs> that is so cool he's fighting them all they're all taking him on he actually is surviving a lot longer than I thought he would. I'm not sure if he's even taking any damage. There we go. He is down. Let's try to get him to uh, summon another one again. So another hit. And that's two times in like just a few shots that we've actually summoned one. He's kind of kiting the mobs away. He's doing 149 damage by each attack. 153, 137. So the... Damage that he does like varies. It's pretty cool. Let's try to get in one more summon before we end the video There he goes, so it seems like it's pretty dang often that it summons it One more thing I want you guys to know is once you get this ghost to actually summon let me try to get another one He's going to kill that guy. Now watch my health. He's actually healing me. 766 up to 800, 859. So not only does he attack mobs, but when he gets a minute, if there's no mobs nearby, he'll actually heal you. So this is really cool. It is very hard to get and it can be extremely frustrating. I hope you have good luck getting this stuff. I hope you have better luck than I did because this bow is seriously cool and I really hope that they add more legendary weapons like this to the game. Anyways, that's it for the video. I hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you learned something. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.